Hi my stupendous students, welcome to another social studies class with me, Miss Tyson, your social studies teacher. So for today's lesson, we are going to talk about the anthropogenic causes of climate change. Anthropogenic. Am I in the right class? Yes, you are. So we're going to break up this word into syllables. One, two, three. Anthropogenic. Anthropogenic. So the anthropogenic causes of climate change is the same thing as the human causes of climate change. So we're going to talk first about three general causes of climate change. Now these causes, I'm sure that you have heard it in the news, read it in a newspaper, or you have read it on a blog or website. Now the first one, or the first anthropogenic cause of climate change is the burning of fossil Fuels. So fossil fuels include coal, crude oil, and natural gas. So fossil fuels are used in the manufacturing industry, such as in factories, and also to produce electricity. So when fossil fuels are burnt, this releases toxic or dangerous gases into the atmosphere. Gas such as carbon dioxide, which helps to trap heat so a buildup of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere will trap a lot of heat and this will of course help to heat the atmosphere heat the earth and of course contribute to climate change as well as global warming so another common or well-known anthropogenic cause of climate change is deforestation and we all know that is the cutting down of trees now trees are cut down for a myriad of reasons one for farming purposes to clear the land for farming two to build buildings or for infrastructural development such as to put up electricity poles cable lines and so on so as human beings we give off carbon dioxide or exhale carbon dioxide which is a waste product produced during respiration now the plants they use this carbon dioxide for photosynthesis they also produce as a waste product oxygen which is needed by us as human beings during the respiration process so what happens now when we cut down these trees and not replant them is that there will be a buildup of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and remember carbon dioxide is a gas which helps to trap heat so over time lots and lots of heat will be trapped and this will help to warm the earth or warm the atmosphere and contribute to climate change and global warming as well so i want you to guess this one i know you won't guess it <laughs> so another anthropogenic cause of climate change is the rearing of livestock how does livestock really contribute to global warming or climate change i'm going to tell you right now so livestock such as cows goats and sheep when they digest food they produce methane as well as nitrous oxide so again these are very dangerous gases which of course will help to trap heat and they will help to heat up the atmosphere okay so we just spoke about the general anthropogenic causes or some general anthropogenic causes of climate change namely deforestation the burning of fossil fuels and livestock which produce methane as well as nitrous oxide now we're going to be a little more specific so what are some of your daily practices which helps to contribute to climate change what are some of my daily practices so i'm going to talk about myself because i don't really know about you but you will be commenting below some of your daily practices which of course helps to contribute to climate change so i don't know about you but i love to drive so sometimes the place that i want to go to is so close by i could easily walk but instead of walking i drive now cars produce a lot of fumes a lot of toxic or dangerous gases which when emitted into the atmosphere again of course helps to contribute to 
climate change or global warming by helping to heat up the atmosphere. Now I can't believe I know this knowledge but yet still I'm constantly driving. How does that make sense? And I also use lots of devices. I have my iPhone, my laptop, my tablet and these of course gives off heat and of course we know it helps to contribute to global warming because it helps to heat up the earth's atmosphere next i use a lot of aerosol sprays and i use it a lot like literally a lot because i love to smell good and i love when i pass persons or they hug me but because it's covid time you know you can't really hug persons like that but i love when i pass people and they say wow this girl so smells good but i will now need to lessen my carbon footprint and that's something good so feel free to comment what are some of your daily practices which helps to contribute to climate change see you in my next video when we will be talking about some natural causes of climate change and yes there are both anthropogenic and natural causes of climate change and like there's a big debate going on about it bye